Hello everyone, so today I am here and I am going to be recreating Maddie's look in Euphoria from season 2 episode 1. I watched the first episode the other night and it was so good, like I was like sweating. But yeah, obviously Maddie is a freaking icon, she looks so hot, so I wanted to jump on the look, I think. It was quite unique, especially the hair. I, this is actually like a headband. Yeah, I really want to get into it. But yeah, by the way, this is from Bikini Boutique and then this is from Glassons. This actually comes with a top. But I'm like, oh my God, I don't have the outfit, but I think this is pretty similar, only if this was like a bit more in, but I think it's good enough. But anyways, all right, so I'm going to start with this primer. It is the Stila One Step. Correct, this is new. Did that just fall? I'm gonna rub this in. Oh, I forgot I had those little swirls there. I don't know oh, what's wrong with me. I don't have any like hair gel, so that like took like way too long to like spray down on my face with hairspray. And I'm probably gonna get acne because I used hairspray on my cheeks. Yeah, not gonna lie, I was very surprised how like light and thin her eyebrows were. I'm literally just gonna be brushing up my eyebrows just to kind of keep them in place. This is the Rose Ink Eyebrow Gel in the shade Fill 01. So I'm just kind of going to brush them up and out. I'm not gonna lie, usually I have my phone and computer with me, so I'm kind of just doing this look by memory because I'm filming with my phone right now and I don't want to have to like grab the phone and put it down a hundred times. But yes, if you have not watched Euphoria, this is your sign to do it. Like get on it straight away right now. I don't really want to talk about it too much because I don't want to spoil it. But if you haven't watched it, go watch it and then come back and watch this, you know. Honestly, I might do skin like straight away. I got some new like skin foundation products from like so excited. So this is the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the primer, but I think people use this as foundation. Oh, hey, why does that kind of match really perfectly? Oh okay, yeah, how do people use this as foundation? This is very freaking light. And I'm a light coverage kind of girl, and this is so light. Not gonna lie, in the episode, Maddie's makeup is quite full coverage. God, this little swirl's scaring me. All right, and now I'm taking, this looks a bit dark for me. This is their foundation in the shade Warm Child. We're gonna come out. I have to squeeze it. Maybe it's not too dark, let's hope not. We're going the lamb today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, not too bad, a bit orange. It could be a lot worse. All right, so now I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury liquid concealer. Oh, I can see it being pushed up in the chamber of secrets. So I think I'm just putting like way too much on. All right, at least we're getting to like a full coverage kind of look as that is what we need to go for today for my day. But yes, let's get into talking about what the hell happened. So I need to know whose side is everyone on, Maddie or Cassie? Because I can't decide. Like I kind of feel for both of them. I definitely feel more for Maddie because there's not really an excuse for what Cassie did, but she's had it hard. She's had a hard time. Again, I'm being very like blase about this because I don't want to give too much away. I know some people might not have watched it yet, but blase, is that what? what? Uh, but I was literally sweating in the bathroom scene because like in my heart, I didn't want Cassie to get caught, but like she should have been caught. But it's also like, oh. like the show makes it as if like you don't want it to happen because it gives you so much adrenaline watching it. I really like when shows give you the perspective of multiple people and I think Euphoria does that and I really freaking enjoy watching shows like that. Just putting it all in. All right, this Charlotte Tilbury business is quite flawless. Now I saw this nose contour hack and I kind of want to try it. So you get your darker shade of concealer for contouring and then you put it directly down your nose. Now, I know what you're thinking. Girl, what are you doing? I don't know. All right, and then you wanna obviously blend it in. And then you go back with your lighter concealer and you go and conceal the sides of your nose. And then we'll go back later and add highlight on top of the nose. And that really like makes your nose appear thinner. But yeah, today something a bit, I don't know, it was just like an ordinary thing happened. It made me realize something, like a big brain moment, and I don't have them very often. So basically, I was going to pick up some packages from the post office, and there was no parking on the side street, so I parked behind this guy, and he he had like a little ute truck thing with tools, and he was unloading them, and I got out the car, and he was a bit rude. He was kind of like, you need a move. And you know what? I responded in kindness. I'm like, I'm so sorry, I promise I'll be literally one minute. I'm just going to run in, grab my packages, and then I'll be out, and I'll move. He's like, Okay. And I think he was a bit shocked that I reacted in like a nice way when he was kind of rude. And then when I came back with my packages literally a minute later, I'm like, thank you, I'm so sorry. And he was like, it's okay, it's okay. And it made me realize something. If you treat people with kindness, you receive so much respect. Because if you think about it, like there are a lot of mean people that have respect. There are a lot of like controlling people that you don't necessarily like that have respect. But I don't think that's actually respect. I think it's more fear-based obedience. 
I don't know how else to put that. But I was like driving on the way home and I'm like, oh my God, like I feel like I can say I'm a nice person. And I think that's because I'm scared of being rude because I don't like a mean reaction from other people. And I think when people are rude to you, especially in like a public setting, if you don't know them, they don't expect like a nice kind response back. They expect rudeness as well. And if you think about it, like have you ever like had your day ruined by someone like getting mad at you and putting their bad vibes onto you, like just a random? Because I definitely have. So I think that like it's really important to be like really nice and kind to people because people don't expect it. I don't know. That was like a really weird kind of rant, but I kind of just had to say that. I think the moral of the story is be nice. But yeah, that Charlotte Tilbury makeup like dried really fast on my face. Like I don't think I even need powder, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna use powder. So I literally have like none of this left, but I'm just like kind of patting that underneath my eyes. Kind of just to set under the eyes and like T-zone because the rest of my face will be set by bronzer and all that. Oh, I, I haven't even used much powder, but that's setting very nicely. Wow, I can see why Charlotte Tilbury makeup makeup is so hyped oh no oh no see i made a mistake i literally knew that i shouldn't have done that because i have freaking liquid blush and highlighter and i do not ever understand how people put liquid products over a set face like it ruins your makeup maybe i should try risk it for the biscuit this is the nars liquid blush in the shade torrid this is scaring me oh it's not even bad what i don't want to speak too soon i'm kind of like tapping this and then tapping it on my finger again so it's most pigmented but oh my god wow hashtag wow i don't know if she was wearing blush but you know you can't ever not go without blush like are you kidding now i have blush all over my fingers i'm probably gonna leave it there and get it everywhere i like that a lot and i'm definitely gonna use that every single day i also have this westman atelier atelier highlighter uh, yeah, that looks a bit intense. I'm blending that out. It's like a wet look. Hey, okay, I like that. Okay, now I'm going to bronze. Okay, this is the Cossas. Cossas. Deep warm bronze. Ooh. Okay, see what I mean? Look what's happened here. Because I've used powder and liquid products. It just... Ooh, ooh. Right, it doesn't look that bad on camera. Alright, I'm gonna try contour my nose. I'm kind of just bringing the bronzer from my nose onto my eyelids and I'm taking that and creating a bit of shadow because she doesn't have too much like eyeshadow. It's mainly like the silver one that she has on her lids. So I just want to keep like all the colors on my face like intertwined. Now for the fun part, I have this KVD Vegan Beauty Dazzle Stick and it's silver and I'm going to be putting this on my eyelids because she has like a silver makeup look. I'm going to kind of blend that out with my finger. It was quite difficult, like I should have used a brush, but I didn't. And then I'm just like layering that. Right, I'm just going to make sure so it's all kind of blended around the edges with this eyeshadow brush. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna spray my face. I'm gonna highlight. Okay, so I'm taking this Fenty Beauty highlighter and I'm doing my inner corners and I'm blending that up onto the silvery goodness. I'm putting that on my nose. And I'm gonna go with this highlighter over the liquid highlighter that I put because this is just very sparkly. And Euphoria is just the most sparkly show of all. So, you know, we have to go absolutely overboard with the highlighter, like that's not a question. And then I'm going to now curl my lashes. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Maddie was wearing fake lashes. They didn't look like that extra. So I'm just gonna do my natural lashes. All right, time to freaking tight line. Oh, so I'm taking this cake pencil and I'm going to line my bottom wall waterline. My makeup's very intense. All right, so now that I've put that on my waterline, I'm gonna kind of go like a little bit underneath, like onto my lower lash line. Oh, I'm also gonna do my top lash line. Oh, bleh. All right, so I'm taking my KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liquid Liner in the black shade. I'm just creating a wing. She has a very thin wing though. It's long and thin. I'm gonna do an inner eye cat wing because she has one. I'm taking that liquid liner and I'm bringing it onto my waterline. Mm. And now I'm gonna leather my lashes with mascara. Now today I am doing top and bottom mascara, which is different. If you are a frequent watcher of mine, you know I don't usually do bottom lash mascara. I might have to wear this look out. Like this is hot. I'm like loving it. I really want my face now. What the hell? All right, I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. I'm really freaking scared, you guys. Oh my God, lashes. It just makes such a freaking difference. Make my life so much better. The character that I can relate most to in Euphoria is Maddie. In the new season, she said something and like, I know everyone's like, I want to copy her personality traits, but I have that personality trait and it's being horrible to men. <laughs> I'm not really horrible to men, but if you guys watched the first like kind of video that I did with my boyfriend, Adrian, I feel like I gave off the same energy when I first met him. He was like, let me take you out. And I'm like, no, like, ew. I literally said, because ew. Maddie, I'm coming for you on the real life, Maddie. Okay, lip time. Oh my God. My lips are quite glossy, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna put a bit of this gloss. I'm feeling myself. I'm gonna blend it in with this clear gloss. 
this is a look and a half all right but i'm really freaking happy with this little euphoria makeup look i think i freaking nailed it i wasn't expecting to do so well but this was really freaking fun i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope i didn't spoil too much i didn't really talk about it for a reason but yeah this is the final look yeah you guys that was a finished look and thank you so much for watching make sure to like subscribe follow me on instagram at leah holton underscore and let me know if there are any other looks or anything you would like me to recreate but this was like so much fun i'm so happy i did this anyways i love you guys so much